Hello everyone, I am Pyro Falcon and this is Evil Genius 2. If you're watching this on release day, thanks for the patience on that. I was basically on Christmas break, had a lot of things to do and deal with, and now I am back. If you're not watching this on release day, uh, hi, and welcome back. So, in the last episode, we got just about everything. Ah, we still have three crime lords. That's right, it's going to take me a hot second. And we need to, as before, the gimmick is to eliminate the ladies and uh, keep the guys. So let's skip Daniel for now, because we still have an open slot, right? Yeah, so I'd rather just go for the kill mission so I don't have to juggle the uh, missions further. So, the Barrage of Figaro. The World Festival of Opera is afoot, and its fancies attendees are easy pickings for you. Stage a daring heist while the famous diva Brunhilde performs her latest nine-hour epic. Ugh. Side story begun. No cutscene. I don't believe I have ever seen much opera. My ugh is a little performative. Maybe I would actually like it, but probably not. I can't imagine that I would be too into it. Especially because I'm a very antsy person and don't want to be sitting that long. Anyway, looks like that's up here in Western Europe. Central Europe? Whatever. We're going to go get her and start the process of beating the crap out of her. That aria was years in the making. A high note, the likes of which none has hit. It was true art. Brunhilde, it wasn't personal. The boss loves art. Stealing it, burning it, holding it for exorbitant ransom. Your boss has made a mistake. I have powerful friends. Even the bankers at the Rhine owe me favors. You mean the sort of rich and powerful people that we just robbed with ease? Laugh all you like. My powerful voice will make even your lair tremble. All right, then. We need to complete some research. Brunhilde is not just a diva. Her deadly voice poses a serious threat to your organization. To defeat her, you must research a way to protect your minion's ears. Why do I care about my minion's ears? Oh. Research has begun. I suppose it is difficult to enact your boss's evil plans when you're too busy bleeding out of two of your orifices. I fear the earplugs are too successful. Now that everyone is wearing them... No one can hear the boss's orders. Yeah, that's unacceptable. What? Oh, we have been going about this all wrong. We must not avoid music. We must immunize ourselves to its power. What? I said we... Uh, never mind. Vice Singers to your island. Is that a world stage issue? Yes, it is. I just need three. There's one. Uh, there's two. And looking for the big blinky. I can't see it. Ah, there's three. Aha! Doomhilda is here to delight your ears. Hi, Doomhilda. Welcome to the lair. I have been expecting you ever since the... Objective marker told me I must defeat you. So once you get your loud, obnoxious face into my casino, I will greet you the only way I know how. There we go. Pyro sets her on fire. Now he's setting a random inspector on fire. This is this is going about the way I expected. I'm not particularly impressed with Doomhilda. I mean, after using her as a henchman, she's not super great. Like, she has a stun which is helpful, but otherwise she just kind of exists. There are definitely better options. So I'm not going to be crying too much over eliminating her. I thought I would be faced by the master of this place. They're a bit busy running things right now. You get me? They upstage me, they humiliate me, and all I get is a flunky. A flunky who sent you packing, Brunhilde. No, not Brunhilde. It's Doomhilde now, and this was merely my opening number. Whatever. A little fight music. 
Doom Hilda is aiming to make a comeback at the Global Sound Song Contest, then use that capital to destroy you, beat her at her own game, and leave her with nothing to sing about. Ugh, Global Sound, once my bitterest, uh, second bitterest defeat. Soon the start of my spectacular comeback. I'm more interested in the concept of having a bunch of minions dressed like that lady over there on the right. Uh, I want to be able to change uniforms. Too bad that's not an option. And your fans are so excited for your great return. But your new rival has also sent a band to compete. With the fame my win will grant me, I'll finally have the power to crush them once and for all. Yeah, but... I'm sorry, Dumilda, but what if they win? Ha! I am a star! The only way they could beat me would be to cheat, and they'd never do that. I want to know if anyone genuinely thinks Doomhilda is interesting, like her story. Um, it's... What? How? Oh, I have to do this in multiple places. Um... It's, I mean, everything is subjective, right? And it's totally valid if you do disagree with a YouTuber. I mean, who the fuck am I? But, like, uh, you know, I, I don't like most of the DLC in the game. Well, that's not... I'm neutral to most DLC in the game. Um, a lot of decisions that were made with Evil Genius 2... I thought were missed opportunities and stuff, but I'm also not the type to denigrate the game just because it wasn't as good as Evil Genius 1 or as, uh, iconic, I guess, as, as niche as Evil Genius 1, um, which I think is where a lot of the complaints came from. That said, I do think a lot of this stuff was kind of uninspired. Like, Doomhilda's nothing. She, she's kind of a boring character. And, you know, the as I've mentioned before, the lack of um, special animations for the deaths of the super agents is a bit uninspired. I definitely don't think this is a bad game. And they did not pay me to say that because I was paid nothing. I was not sponsored. I uh, used my own money for this game. Um, but, you know, I think it's fine. Everything's fine. It's it's good. I'm enjoying my time. Because, I mean, as much as I love the channel, I also would not be wasting my time playing something I hated. So, but I, I guess I don't fully know where I'm going with this, beyond just saying, like, I don't particularly care for Doom Hilda, but she doesn't annoy me other than annoying me for the right reasons. You know, like, her sing-songy voice is annoying, but that's how she was written to be. <laughs> so, all in all, she's fine, but I'm not gonna cry over her, uh, over her golden corpse littering my lair. Now, this I didn't read last time. Apparently, I have to pick my band to compete from one of the four territories, not Hammer, because it's been claimed. So, I'm kind of curious what the writing is for those. Um, let's see. So, here in Smash. Smash Territory loves electronic dance music. Win their hearts by crafting a DJ rig that will scramble the minds of anyone who's around when the beat drops. Okay. So, here's Patriot. Patriot Territory loves itself some country music. Since the genre thrives on sadness, subject your global sound band to hours and hours of sad TV until they can write the best country songs ever. Alright, uh, let's see. Ah, here's, uh, Saber. Saber Territory can't get enough metal. This in mind, have your scientists fabricate a guitar for your global sound band their minions can use to truly... To unleash truly face-melting solos. And then Anvil. Let's see where theirs is. Here we go. Anvil Territory loves polished, tightly choreographed pop. Train your global sound entry in hypnotic choreography so they can bend an audience to your will. So, I am American, and uh, I despise country music, at, since uh, I am an evil genius. 
and we must be evil. Let's do some country music. I wonder if that changes any of the flavor text later. I do know once you finish this mission, you occasionally get some high value money missions throughout the world where your band is doing things, but I never really paid much attention to the flavor text before. This global sound was supposed to be my amazing comeback. That win was mine! <laughs> Too bad, Doomhilda. You lost fair and square. Well, you lost square. Whatever that means. Sorry for cutting you off, Doomhilda, with your weird noise you were making, but, uh... It's probably what the judges did to you at Global Sound. I demand a rematch. A true contest of talent. Surely I will prevail. Yeah, we're gonna pass. Thanks to this, the boss is sending us on a world tour. The boss? Ugh, it always comes back to them. Very well. It looks like I shall be taking a tour of my own. Ooh. Uh, hold on. Let me finish doing this. Defeat Doomhelda in the lair. Oh, okay. So, Tuesday. Got it. Ah, this time Brunhilda, I mean Doomhilda, brought some friends. Two. It's, uh, they're poor quality. That's probably not going to work out for her. Wow, she took she took a flaming card, a flamethrower, and then a bullet from Eli's silver revolver. She's uh not having a good time. See how Incendio is juggling the two goons? That's why I like him so much. He might be classified as a distraction minion, but he's very disruptive. I mean, the the problem is he if you get him too early, he's just as disruptive to your people. Um, once your soldiers have guns, it's not so bad. But... Uh, I guess sometimes they don't... Yeah, sometimes they're not knocked down. But there you saw the, the yellow shirt was knocked down because of the card. So it can be a little disruptive to your own people. But, uh, it's not bad. I, I like him. He's one of my favorites, and I like his voice. Anyway, c guys, could you finish her off, please? What the hell is taking so long? I mean, aside from the fact I was in single speed. Yep, I look forward to it. The World Festival, Global Sound, and now I can't even get revenge. I'm ruined. <laughs> <laughs> The character is extremely annoying, but I I really like the effort the voice actor did to voice her. That, that voice actor earned their paycheck and more, for sure. It's all right, Dumilda. You'll make another go of it. You can call in more favors. I burned every connection I had on this. Well, you'll always have music. No, the music's gone from me. All I have now is my huge fortune from my successful singing career. I'm ruined! The pyro is heating up. The pyro will be fine. The magic brute. Doomhilda has the potential to become your organization's latest asset. Put her to work by settling an unpaid debt you have with the famed hammer bank, the Rhine. So... Okay, so I have to recruit her with this mission, so I will do that and then just immediately execute her. Side story begun. No cutscene. Let's do as they say, send her to work. Where do I need to go? Up here? Okay. Help me out for a hot second, Doomhilda. I promise I'm totally not going to kill you afterward. So, what shall I do first? Stage a heist? Take hostages? Launch one of your enemies into space? You already did that last thing and it didn't work, did it? We have a disagreement with your friends, the Rhine. They want us to pay back a debt. We disagree. Really? You want to waste my incredible talent on debt collection? This was a mistake. I'm leaving. They were your closest partner and investor. Before us. Surely no one can handle them better than you. Hmm. You do know how to talk to a lady. Sure. We're going to have Doomhilda perform a floor show, apparently, but we'll do that 
during the time skip for these mid-roll ads, and then we will be back, and we will probably finish her off. A small fire has started in your hair. All fires have been extinguished. And we're back. We had to do a few more objectives, raiding a few things, murdering a few people. You know, just a typical day for an evil genius. I've settled your debt problem. That had better be good enough because I don't do auditions. This whole thing was an audition. What are you talking about? Yes, our employer is very happy you sorted that out. And I do mean our employer. <gasps> are you saying your organization will actually Give me a stage! Yes, you prove them the damage you can do when you sing. Just do it at our enemies. Then I guess it's good you've made so many. I love a big audience. Alright, so you are recruited now? Yes, you are. Okay. So that's the yes. end of her nonsense. I need to let's, uh, let's give Clara Jones a little company Is over here. Coming? So we just need to get Doomhilda here. Come on, lady. I'll have all day. There you are. All right. So we are going to liquefy her, golden her, whatever we're going to do. I'm going to turn her into a statue. What is that? What is that pose? All right. Okay. So we're going to stick you here. You can at least face the King hmm. Solomon's Mines. Evil. And Never that's sleeps. her storyline. Okay, sleeps. next up is... Sir Daniel? Wait a minute. Iroboticus... I finally remembered who this is. This is Iris. This is your robot assistant who turns into an actual person. So... I guess technically Iris is a girl, so let's go through this one and then execute her. Everybody succeeded. loves robots, but this roboticist goes above and beyond. Her technology is promising, but her motives are not. Find out more. Find out more. Determine whether she's useful or a threat. Okay. Thos, we have an unusual window of opportunity. What is it? Our scouts report unusual chipsets being fabricated at a remote facility. Estimates suggest advanced robotics. Perfect. Why well, beat people senseless myself when a robot can do it 38% more efficiently? Send a team to get it. At once, boss. All right. Let's go get the thing. What's this? An unauthorized transmission. Source unknown. Hi. We haven't been introduced. My name is Naomi Sorayama. Nice to meet you. You rub me. Let's talk. I'm not compensating you. Of course not. You're human. All we do is disappoint each other. Tell me about but it. But I'm warning you. Leave this alone. Yeah, not gonna do that. No matter. We'll proceed with the operations and track down their transmission. All right. Raid other facilities on the world stage. Well, that's fun. Uh, got one up here. Uh, one over here. Which I can't... I don't have enough workers. Man, we are just blasting through workers right now. Uh, I have... Wait, I've capped out of people? How the crap have I capped out on people? Oh, I've got more biologists and quantum... Chemist than I should. Uh, I need to go on a little bit of a, uh, an execution spree for a hot minute. Ah, uh, yeah, the flavor text is different. Your winning band of the Diabolics are on a world tour. First stop, their home turf, Patriot Territory. As they headline an auto race, have your minions siphon off a stadium's worth of spending cash. So it's 20 grand over only 10 seconds. It's... A small thing, but if I remember right, the value of those missions wind up going up as you... the hell? Uh, 50 heat gain for the cost of 11 valet. That's fine. That's not worth the valets. Um, yeah, so the, the value of the Doomhilda special missions tends to go up. It's just not a tremendous amount of money. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to murder all these scientists. Oh, did that not work the way you anticipated? 
What an unexpected turn. You've set me up, haven't you? This was all part of some kind of diabolical plot. Not that I disapprove of diabolical, but you picked the wrong victim. Exactly. If anyone's doing any diabolical plots around here, it's going to be us. This is why humans are doomed. So slow to see the truth. A digital future is coming. You're not part of it. The only thing that's doomed here is your expected outcome. You've played your hand. Now I play mine. Interrogate an attack robot in the lair. Okay. Uh, gonna go ahead and assume that's gonna be fixed. I saw that we had to defeat some attack robots. And they did it without my explicit orders, so everything's great. I guess I need to wait until there are more attack robots who come by. Uh, guys, you want to put out the fire, please? Who's, who's on this, exactly? Wow, that's a hell of a long distance to extinguish a fire when there should be a fire extinguisher right the flip next to there. There are fire extinguishers here! Why are you idiots going upstairs to... Well, too late. <sighs> oh, at least they'll get it replaced. Come on, attack robots, where are you? How does one interrogate a robot anyway? Do you just... I suppose you examine its hard drive contents? I can't imagine what else you would have to do. But either way, we're gonna eliminate most of these jerks and capture one of them and get them interrogated. The attack robot is being interrogated. Through the normal means, he apparently feels pain. I suppose that this thing apart and see what's in its programming. Oh, okay. You actually did go for the logical route. Well done, Max. This unit will be shutting down imminently. Oh. Then you won't mind if I make it painful, tear your limbs, and upload elevator music into your database. Wait, let's be reasonable about this. What if I told you your traps were being targeted next? I'd thank you for that and go for the compromise. Someone upload the chicken dance on an endless loop. <laughs> Destroy Robot Factory on the world stage and put out the fire from my jail cell that the exploding robot just set aflame. Alright, there he is. Let's take that out. We'll be one step closer. People like you are the reason we can't have progress. That facility was the future. You couldn't have had much confidence in your success if you weren't there to oversee it. Enjoy your exercise in Meat Puppet Savagery. It's a temporary win, and it's put a target on your back. You're a mechanical genius, but a lousy strategist. Stick to your mechanical dolls and stay out of my way. Defeat the attack robots in the lair. Ten of them. Just waiting around for them to arrive. An inferno is raging in your lair. The Inferno may be raging, but so is my victory as I take out all of those attack robots. I spy with my cybernetically enhanced eye. The roboticist was not so defeated at a after all. She's back and she's taking a new approach that will put you on the defensive. You trust your minions. Do you trust your lair? Don't you trust us? I don't trust anyone. Why? You decided to turn the surveillance cameras on us instead of watching out for spies and intruders. No, that wasn't me. So, there's someone I should be trusting even less than you. Oh, we'll get to work on disabling the suspect cameras, boss. But the only person that can deny us our privacy is you. Exactly. All right, looks like we need to do a research project. It has helped my personal efficiency to have all of the power, I mean, all of the research stuff on at all times, which is nice. Uh, no more micromanaging, but we had to work a little bit to get here. I still think micromanaging is the way to go when you're starting off and power is a little tight, but once you're making money hand over fist, you may as well just go nuts with the nuclear power generators and uh, make sure everything is on at all times. 
Ah, so now we have a second thing to research. Research has begun. It's giving me an idea how I want to run, or how... It's giving me an idea for one of the gimmicks I want to do for the fifth run, whenever that will be. What's going on? Who bought out those cretins? Betrayal will always be met with a swift death! Those weren't your minions. My sensors indicate no life signs and purely mechanical locomotion systems. Then you are saying... Some of your people aren't people. They're robots, and they acted on a signal. Well, they still met with a swift death, so I'll count that as a win. And work incentive to all the survivors. Kill or capture Roboticist. Ah, so she's here now. Okay. Well, before I look for her, I realized my power capacity is pretty low because I like having a hundred and spare. So we're going to expand out the power room a little bit here. And I'm going to try to make another layer of uh, power plants. Let's see. It's four apart, so one, two, three, four, and boop, and boop, and then boop with this, and this, and this, and this. You can see how little I care about the inferno that's raging. Alright, that'll add 105 power capacity. Let's actually go a little nuts with it instead of just stopping there. I'm going to open up that room as well. We're going to go two away. One, two, boop. One, two, boop. One, two, boop. And we'll open up. Where's the control room? Do -do. I'm gonna do a little of this, and then a little of this, and then a little of this, and then a little of this. Why is that cold? Why is that turning cold as a result? And then this one's warm. That's weird. Gonna go ahead and assume that's gonna work out. Okay, kill or capture Roboticist. Is she here yet? I do not see her. She is probably still on her way. I haven't heard any noise that the crime lords usually give when they're on their way. Any sort of introduction blathering. Wait, why do we have an inferno? Wait, what's happening? Why is shit on fire? Uh, oh, is this... Does this have something to do with what she's doing? Hold on, this this doesn't seem like it's normal. The robot horde has arrived. Your The roboticist has come with them. Now's your chance to delete her interface from your plans or make her a part of them. Okay, never mind. I don't know why things are on fire, but it's fine. Oh, there she is. Okay, order the execution. Bring everyone in. Come on over, henches. I've never taken her out before. We've either recruited her or ignored her over the year, o over the runs. So let's see what happens here. We're also shooting a bunch of investigators, so that's gonna wind up bringing some soldiers. But that's fine. An impressive fight, but the roboticist herself, not so much. Yeah, it's almost like uh, her fleshy human body couldn't stop all my bullets flying through it. What a surprise. At least our technology will finally go back to normal now. True, that's cause for celebration. But she was right about one thing. Robots really are impressive. But not as impressive as humans. True, robots are tireless. Wait, that's good. They work for free. Wait, that's good too. Have I made an error? Another obstruction to your plans has been removed and you even secured some of their wealth as a bonus. Okay, so the final crime lord is Why Sir is Daniel now? and we are out of time for this episode. Incendio, hands. why are you wounded? Stop being wounded this instant. What do you wish of Get your ass up off the floor. Uh, we're kind of out of time for this episode. I think we're actually a little under 30 minutes, but that's okay. I know some of my episodes have gone long. This has brought balance back to the channel, which may would make Symmetry happy if she wasn't dead. So that's going to do it for today. Uh, we're going to get Sir Daniel in the next episode and then be on the last little bit of the game with our 100% run. Oorah. 
Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you again tomorrow for another episode.